Many restaurant owners eager to get back to business as usual, but some local dining options are choosing to wait to reopen. WATE's Jordan Kramer went to Sevierville today, and she has more on their decision. Patrons now permitted to dine in in several counties across East Tennessee. Although several restaurants like Nino's Pizzeria in Sevierville have chosen to delay offering dine-in options until May 1st. We have been following the CDC uh, guidelines since the beginning of this and uh, keeping an eye on some of the local uh, things that are going on. And we decide if we follow the federal part of it, it'll keep us that much uh, in better shape. While Nino's Pizzeria has been available for takeout throughout the pandemic, several other Sevier County restaurants like Gray's Burgers are just now reopening their doors for carryout options and won't reopen their dining room for at least another week. We're going to see what some of the other restaurants do if they have some success or if they have any other problems with them. And then also definitely want to see the, the case reports too. In addition to operating at half capacity, restaurants are required to provide additional hand sanitation stations and mandate the use of gloves and masks for all employees. Stocking up on some of these items has proved to be a tough task, which has delayed reopening plans. The essentials are harder to find. Uh, have to go through several different vendors just to, between gloves and masks and to-go boxes. With dine and eating the first sense of normalcy, Nino's Pizzeria is expecting a high volume of customers at their scheduled reopening on May 1st. People are going to be like, woo, we're free, and they're going to get out there, and they're just going to swarm everything from, you know, retail to restaurants, etc. you know. Um, so, what we want to do is we want to control them before they get to the front door, so we're going to do reservations only. While it's an altered normal, both restaurants are looking forward to getting back to doing what they love. Everybody likes to earn their money, and it's nice to, to have something to do but do it well. We do this for the passion. We don't do it for the money. We do it for the love of what we do. Reporting in Sevierville, I'm Jordan Kramer, WATE6 on your side.